Thunderstruck you play uh, two characters mm -hmm. living in uh, different uh, ages, in different eras. Yeah. Uh, I was really impressed by how even with a few scenes you were able to perform different and very specific body languages and physicalities. How do you work you. on this aspect of your character? Hmm. You know, it's such a funny thing because you, you realize uh, after you've been working for a while that there, there are things that you do instinctively that you, you, you don't even know how to, how to break them down anymore. You know, Todd was very specific in terms of the time periods. You know, one character's the 1920s and one's the 1970s, and he gave us lots and lots of research material. I mean, in particular, in the uh, 1920s, I studied silent film. And, and just, just in terms of what, what people are doing emotively and, and with gesture, you know, that's, that's different than, than what we're used to. So I kind of, I looked at that sort of world. And then in the 1970s, quite frankly, I was, I, I watched Millie. I watched Millicent Simmons. I mean, because she was, because I was looking for, I needed to embody her physically. Mm -hmm. You've done uh, several moves with Todd Haynes. Yeah. Uh, did it change in some way all over these years? And most important, did it change the way to approach to these movies because of the completely different tone from, I don't know, Far From Ever or, or, or Safe? He hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> Not a bit. I mean, that's what's kind of crazy about it. I don't know that I've changed that much either. You know, it's funny when you realize you've, you have a history working with someone. I feel like when I talk to him, it's the same Todd that I knew when we did Safe. And what, what has remained constant in him is his passion for his work and his specificity. He's so, so specific. And, and for an actor, I mean, that's just the most wonderful thing because he's always looking, he's like, how do you put, he allows you to put such a fine point on things because he's put such a fine point on them himself. Mm -hmm. Which has been for you the most challenging scene to shoot in this movie? Uh, not in a physical way, but I would say in an emotional way. Hmm. Well, I'd say certainly um, the character that I play in the 1970s in that part of the movie was the one that was the most challenging because obviously I wanted to bring a degree of authenticity to, to her. And um, I had a lot of people, I had a lot of teachers who were advising me and, and, and um, helping me with, um, with the ASL and the gestures. And I had, I had Millie, you know, to guide me, just her beautiful performance. So that to me, because I wanted to be so specific there, was the most challenging. Mm -hmm. Earlier you mentioned your work on the physicality about the silent movies diva. Yeah. Is there any old actress, great actress that you specifically studied when you started? Yeah, Lillian Gish. Oh, no, okay. Lillian Gish was, was, you know, had a reputation of being like incredibly expressive, but very, very naturalistic. And when you look at her movie, particularly if you look at The Wind, which was the one that I think Todd was kind of, you know, basing that little film on, you, you know, her, the, her acting is absolutely eloquent and, you know, completely silent. So that's something to us that, that's, that's very unusual. And she was just a magnificent performer. Come sai il mio nome?